Whenever I used to create my Discord bot, I would face an issue where, when I wanted to improve its UI, such as embeds, I had to run the bot again even after making a small change. After that, I had to run the command in Discord, and only then I could see how my embed looked. This process would take up a lot of time, so I thought about what could be done to fix this. I know there are some websites that probably do the same thing, but I'm not sure. But then I thought, why not make something directly in Visual Studio Code? So I started working on a VS Code extension to make this easier for myself and for all of you as well, since I also create custom bots for other people, and I often need to deal with embeds and such things. So, I began working on it, and now I'll show you what I've created. I wouldn't say it's incredibly helpful, but it can be somewhat helpful for you, so, let's go. Alright, so now I'm here in my VS Code, and I've opened the folder for my bot. Let's go ahead and design a small welcome message using my VS Code extension. First, go to the Extensions tab and search for Discord Embed. You'll see it appear at the top, so click on it and install it quickly. After that, I'll create a file and write some basic code. Now, there are two ways to run my extension. First, you can run a command by pressing CTRL plus Shift plus P and then selecting Show Embed, which will open it. Secondly, after you've installed it, you'll see a button at the bottom of the screen. Clicking on that will also open the window. So, this is the complete interface. Here, you'll find a lot of options. First, there's the color option, where you can change the color of your embed. Next to it, you'll find a plus button with many options, like adding more fields. Some other options are currently disabled because they are already part of the embed. When you hover over any element of the embed, you'll have the option to remove it. After you do that, you'll be able to add it back if needed. There are also zoom in and zoom out buttons, so you can adjust the view to your liking. Additionally, there are buttons for adding and removing elements. If you want to edit an element, you just need to click on it, and a box will open where you can make changes. Similarly, if you want to edit an image, thumbnail, or author icon, you can click on the element and provide the image URL. We'll be designing from scratch, so let's quickly remove everything so that only the basic embed remains. So now, let's quickly design it. First, we'll add the embed title, change its text, update the description, and add the first field. After that, we'll insert a cool embed image, and then we'll make changes to the footer and author. You can also add buttons here and change their color, but I'll keep it as primary for now. Now, our embed is ready. After that, you'll see a get code button. When you click on it, it'll ask for the format. If you want the JSON format, click on that. I want the builder format, so I'll click on that, and it will copy the code. When I paste it here, I'll just need to write one to two more lines of code, and it's done. So guys, if you found this even a little helpful or liked it, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And definitely give this a try.